Let's build an augmented reality world in 10 minutes by live streaming 360 degree video into Unity. This is a simple sphere in Unity. I'm going to project the camera as a webcam texture. There is a single asset which is a house plant that I downloaded from the internet. I'm projecting the live stream from the Theta S onto the surface of the inside of the sphere. The previous video showed the projection on the exterior of the sphere. I simply dropped the house plant into the interior of the sphere. If you're wearing a headset, you'll be able to track the user's movement by turning your head. This is convenient if the person starts to move. For this simulation, I'm rotating the virtual camera inside of Unity. That's the wrong way. This is the right way. Where did she go? Oh, there she is in the corner. She's coming toward us. The Theta is not moving. It's stationary in a tripod. I'm just moving the virtual camera. Now I'll quickly show you how to download the house plant. There are many free and commercial assets you can download from the internet. You can put multiple assets inside of the Unity sphere. I just picked a house plant at random in order to simulate a real estate or construction application. Once you download the asset, you can simply drag and drop the file onto Unity. Once it's on the Unity assets, you can then drag it into your scene. Initially, this house plan is very large, so I'm going to scale it down. Once you have the proper scale, you can move it around the scene. You can also zoom in and out of your scene to inspect the house plant. We're next going to need to create a sphere in order to drop the, the video onto it. In the previous tutorial, I projected the live stream onto the exterior of the sphere. Today, we're going to project the 360 degree live stream onto the interior of the sphere. We'll need to use Blender to create a sphere. This is the same as a sphere in Unity, but I'm going to use Flip Normal so that the projection will be on the inside of the sphere and not the outside. I go Sphere and, and set the subdivisions to 6. Make sure the Generate UVs box is checked. You'll now need to switch from Object Mode to Edit Mode. When in Edit, when in edit Mode, press the W key to open up a menu. Select Flip Normals. After Flip Normals is selected, save the file as a Blender file into your Unity Projects folder. You will then be able to drag the new sphere with Flip Normals into your Unity project. After the Flip Normal sphere is into your Unity project, you can attach a webcam texture script that's explained in the previous video. Have fun with the Rico Theta S.